Okay, Chef Frank. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. It's Christmas time, man. It's a time to decorate, cook, shop, and bring joy to our friends, family, and loved ones, right? Okay, huge shout to all my clients, my children, and family members. I love you all, and you know it. All right, so this one today, man, this is so special for Christmas. You saw that little choo-choo train, that bright, shiny little choo-choo train that was on the plate? Yeah, that one right there, man. This thing is so much fun. It just brings fantasy out every time I make it. Kids love them. They get to eat the raisins and the candy when we're done. I've been making these choo-choo trains for over 30 years. Look how beautiful this thing is, man. It just exudes fantasy. Uh, I've been making them for my children, my clients' children, and they're just a lot of fun. All right, in front of us, we have our Mies. We have our Lifesavers, Double Mint Gum, Peppermint Candy, and Raisin Packets. What we're doing here is we're simply going to glue the uh, plastic packaging around the peppermint candy with a hot glue gun. Okay, we're going to fold it over. We're going to mise out or prep out enough for one or two trains or as many trains as you're going to do. You want to set up an assembly line like Ford? <laughs> That's you, man. Do your thing, okay? So here we are. We've got enough, clearly, for one choo-choo train. I just wanted to show you how it comes together. It's a little hot, that glue, and you you know, you get to, uh, you definitely up close and personal. Okay, now this is a part you don't want the kids to do. This is something you want to definitely do for kids. Uh, if you're using a razor blade or a very sharp knife, just pre-cut the packets for them and lay them out. You're going to cut right between the S and the A in Lifesaver. It cuts it right in the middle. You can feel the crease where the candy isn't, so it makes it very easy to cut. You can see that I'm, I'm folding the packet in. You really want to do that uh, to make for a really clean, tight presentation. On this one, you see me putting glue on the inside and around that uh, little bit of paper on the edge, and then I'll tuck it in. Now, the one that I didn't do that, that's one I would typically do for a kid's party, uh, you know, because we don't want to eat them glue, right? Uh, they're definitely going to do it. Now, this part right here, you're going to take the double mint gum or juicy fruit or whatever old school gum that you can get your hands on, not easy nowadays, let me tell you, man. This stuff is not very readily available. You're gonna stick that level with the bottom of the raisin packet, okay? And dead center, okay? This is the chassis to your choo-choo train, uh, and the peppermint candies are the wheels for the choo-choo train. I take this nice, really nice gold cable, gold lame cable uh, to use as the hanger for it but you can use any ribbon that you like any relatively thin ribbon large ribbon doesn't really work i've seen people try to get creative and it really doesn't work it has to be something that's relatively thin what i've done here is i've just put a little bead of that hot glue sticking it together with my hands so that i can really get it inside of that lifesaver packet real easily this is the one that i glued down from the inside and around so i'm putting another little bead of glue on the inside where i'll put that cable uh, at and then I'm going to put a really heavy bead all the way along this piece of candy before I stick it to the raisin box okay man this is uh, a technique that I have adapted over the years that works the best for me I'm sticking it to the box first right not to the glue I want it to be have a good adhesion to the box and now I'm going to put a really thick bead of this hot glue right on top of the juicy fruit or rather the uh, mint gum packet and then stick the lifesavers to that and hold it for a second until that hot glue goes off okay or hardens all right you can see this is pretty pretty sturdy right here okay and it's you know 80 percent done now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those peppermints that we folded the corners in, keep the plastic on them, man. I don't care what environment you're in, that plastic, if you try to just put the candy on there, it gets sticky, okay? I guess first I'm gonna go with the uh, with the uh, smokestack, which is a Hershey's Kiss. Uh, I bought these peppermint ones. I felt that they added a little bit more color, a little bit more Christmas flavor to it or holiday flavor. And you wanna stick it to the back of the uh, of the raisin packet as well as the Lifesaver packet. At least I do. I want a good sturdy ornament, okay? Now we're gonna take those peppermint candy wheels. We're gonna put a nice thick bead of that hot glue uh, straight across the wheel and stick it to the peppermint or winter mint uh, gum and stick it to 
both wheels each side or however whatever process you want to use but i butt the wheels all the way up against the raisin packet on the back end okay the other ones you know use your own judgment i mean that's what art is it's not doing taking a picture of what i do or anyone else does it's your rendition of it okay this is just simply an idea how you can and you might even use different candy you could use rollos you use whatever you want to use okay um, now this one we're just going to go ahead and put the wheels on the other side uh, but you can see man look at this thing man this thing just has the most it has the coolest look to it okay it just exudes fantasy like i said kids love this man for the the other day for the first time i saw like a two and a half year old kid that i made one of these and gave it to him and for the first time i saw a kid literally rip it apart and eat it and it was so much fun for it the fantasy and then the fantasy turned to candy so uh check this one out man that looks pretty good doesn't it yeah i like this man that looks really good and i guarantee you it's going to look really good on your tree also and anybody that you make this for or if you use it as a place setting uh, for a Christmas dinner party and put a tag with your guest name on it it's gonna look gorgeous at the place setting and they get to take home a gift something that you've made with your own two hands man look how beautiful this thing is it is absolutely adorable kids love it adults love it it brings out the child of all of us it's gonna look great on the tree man when was the last time you did a crafts project with uh, family members or friends all right so once again, man, Merry Christmas. Remember, there's food and then there's love. Make love for your family and friends. Uh, Chef Frank signing out, man. Peace and joy for the holiday season. Be safe.